Okay, just wheeled the bike out uh, for a cold start and then we'll go over where everything is that we didn't necessarily do in the video. The video was just more for just the performance of the bike. But um, you see here, here's your choke knob that you can see here. That when I go to start the bike, I'll pull it all the way out. And you can read some articles on these KZ650s. They, they did have kind of a pattern to them when starting them cold. Um, but I pull it all the way out, start the bike, and you'll hear it uh, rev up and then start to idle down, and then just push it halfway in, and then let it, uh, you'll, you'll hear it just idle for a while, and then it'll start to pick up, pick up. And then when you hear it like idling higher, then push it in, and, and you're pretty much warmed up then. But they're all like that as far as that goes. Um, and then here, um, this is uh, this had a new kit. This is the automatic petcock. Uh, right now I have it on on because there's about three, maybe almost three quarters of a tank, a little more in there. So the only time you'd really move this is if you want in reserve. That's prime. If you ever put it straight down, it just runs gas directly without the automatic petcock, the vacuum. But uh, other than that, you can see the little arrow, you would just turn that all the way to reserve if you ever needed it. But right now we'll leave it on on because it's got a lot of gas. Uh, keys over here, uh, off, off on basically, and it operates petcock. Uh, let's see. It's a the Kawasaki key. So you just twist and turn. Let me see. Yeah, go back, put that in there, and then up here, I'll do, I'll do all this now because instead of talking over the motor once I start it, uh, and I'll do these functions, but this is your horn, uh, turn signals, and this is the flasher for the turn signals. If, this will do left or right, but if you hit this, all four flash the turn signals. That's high-low beam. This is start to push in or off either way. If you just pushed it here or push it there, but that start just pushes directly in. And there's your, this is your lead for the speedo if I don't get it in time. Uh, you know, that's green uh, ground, uh, red positive. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? You got air shocks. I'm not running, uh, I think I'm running like, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 pounds in there. Uh, it seems to be working out pretty good. Let's see, let me, let me go ahead and I'll start it and then we'll, we'll go over anything else. Okay, see, so the gas will already be on because it's automatic. As soon as that vacuum uh, from the motor, it opens up the gas. So we'll do the choke all the way out, turn the key on. socks 
on. I'm just always tinkering. Uh, up here, I don't know, the elevation is like, it's close to 4,000, is it? Yeah, and, and uh, uh, bikes tend to run kind of rich here. And then if they, I'm from Florida, and then I, I you know, I never know where they're really going. And uh, I always try to give a little added protection because they could run a lot leaner at lower sea level. And, and I want them to perform the same way they did here. But, um, oh, and then in the, in the uh, package, when the shipper comes, we'll, um, I got some extra stickers I'll put in there. I've got a little bit of touch-up paint left for the headers in case you need it. Uh, the title, bill of sale. Uh, oh, and I'm going to... I'm gonna throw in a couple of bulbs. I actually had this this one, the turn signal, burn out on me the other day, so I'll put in a couple extra bulbs uh, just in case. So far, it's been fine. 